Happy Saturday, YouTube family, YouTube friends. Today I am back with six work from home job leads where you can make up to $1,160. $60 per week. These are part-time and full-time jobs. I'm going to be going over no interview jobs as well as no resume, as well as if you're struggling to pay your bills and you need help paying your bills, need a free laptop or low-cost laptop, or maybe you need free training. I'm going to show you some organizations that's going to help you. I always say stop paying somebody to do your resume for you. Stop paying for resume templates. I'm going to walk you step-by-step. Step. This is one tool that will help you optimize your resume and pass the applicant tracking system. Y'all know that I get excited every Every time when I share my screen, because I feel in my heart that God has a job out there for everyone, for those who want to partake. So we're going to go ahead and dive right into the first job. The first job is with the company Ensemble Health Partners. They're seeking accounts receivable specialists to work from home. And as you can see on the screen, it is nationwide. It is full time. And they do not list the salary. So I take upon myself to research when I'm uncertain. And I came up with 42K all the way up to 54K per year. That is between 20 to $25 an hour. Now, when we dive in a little bit deeper about what you're going to do, is you're going to examine, deny, denial, and other non paid claims to determine reasons for errors. You're going to also communicate directly with peers to follow up on outstanding claims, file technical and clinical appeals, resolve payment barriers, and ensure timing and accurate reimbursements. You go down a little bit further, it needs to be a strong problem solver and critical thinking to resolve accounts. Now, the skills that you need to have is you need to demonstrate basic computer knowledge and demonstrate proficient in Microsoft Excel. Remember, go, Microsoft, go to Microsoft 365 training where you learn this for free. Excellent verbal skills. And when you go down, meet required attendance policy. And I'm not going to go to preferred qualification because that means if you have it, that's great. If you don't, don't worry about it. And if this is something you want to do, all you need to do is click right here where it says apply. This is job number one. Job number two is with the company One Source Virtual. They're seeking tax processors to work from home. This is a full time position. They do not list a salary, so I take upon myself to research, and I came up with forty-five k a year. That is twenty-one dollars an hour. When we dive in a little bit deeper, this position requires you to work the following hours: Mondays, Tuesday, Fridays at six thirty a.m. to three p.m. Central Standard Time, and Wednesday and Thursday six a.m. to two thirty p.m. Central Standard Time. Now, we dive in a little bit deeper about what you're going to be doing in this job. Is you're going to process daily tax by creating a packet. You're going to also research errors from daily tax. You're going to process and monitor estimate tax payments and prepaids. And then we go down a little bit farther here. You're going to validate and update EIN format per urgency requirements. Now, these are the components. These are the keywords that I've been talking about when people saying optimize your resume to pass the applicant tracker system. These are some of the keywords that you need to implement into your resume where it can sound natural, but keep watching. I'm going to walk you step by step of how to do that. And then when you go down a little bit further, it only requires a high school diploma, one to two years experience in the payroll and tax field, basic Microsoft Office suite skills. And if this sounds like something that you're able to do, all you need to do is click right here where it says apply. This is job number two. Job number three is with this company here, as you can see, Leukemia um, Society. They're seeking administrative assistant temporary and part-time. So if you're looking for part-time work, here you go. When I do my research about the salary for this position, you can make anywhere between $22 an hour all the way up to $25 an hour. I say know your worth. Always negotiate your salary at all times necessary. People do this every single day. Now, they do want you, it's temporary. The assignment is only for nine months, part-time, 20 hours a week. Don't let that scare you. Temporary jobs can turn to permanent jobs. It have happened to me in the past. This is through a staffing service. Um, basically, what you're going to do is you're going to execute mass data entry in multiple, multiple systems, including internally owned and external partner systems, CRMs, ticketing systems, and event sites, Okay. And then you're going to also update campaign reporting, communicating directly with campaign staff when necessary. And then you go down a little bit further, you're going to perform other related duties as a sign. Now, even though it says a bachelor's degree, I keep saying this all the time. Don't let that scare you to apply for a job. This is not what you, this is not what you have now. It's who you know. A lot of people don't even have a bachelor's degree. 
and getting these jobs because they know somebody. One plus years of related call center and customer service experience. And it talks about bilingual skills, Spanish preferred, but not required. That means if you have it, that's great. If you don't, don't worry about it. And you're going to have to pass a FCRA accredited background check. And again, it is part time. And if this is something you want to do, all you need to do is click right here where it says apply now. This is opportunity number three. Opportunity number four is with the company AS, ASRC Federal. They're seeking technical support specialists to work from home. They do not list the salary, so I take upon myself to research, and I came up with $60,360 a year. That is around $29 an hour. When we dive in a little bit deeper, again, this role is 100% remote and could be based anywhere within the United States. Okay, When they say preference would be for the new hire to live within the distance of New Jersey, that's only preferred. But if you, as long as you're in the United States, you're eligible to apply for this job. So basically, you're going to provide help desk support to internal employee users. You're going to answer queries using established protocols, scripts, and our procedures in support of internal and or outside customer computer hardware, or software, network system, application, access, and telecommunication system. When you go down a little bit further, you're going to alert management to recurring problems and patterns of problems. Again, there is, there is remote. The requirement is just only a high school diploma, zero to two years of related experience. This is a beginner-friendly work-from-home job lead. So if you want to get into tech support, here you go. U.S. citizenship required with ability to obtain a government security clearance if needed. I'm not going to go to preferred qualification. Like I said before, it, it preferred means if you have it, that's great. If you don't, don't worry about it. And if this is something you want to do, then make sure you go ahead and apply immediately for this position by clicking here where it says apply. This is job number four. Now we are down to jobs that doesn't that you don't have to have an interview or a resume. And one of them is We Localize, okay? As you can see, they are hiring for a lot of positions like freelance video editors, remote, this is part-time, data and a notion, um, even though that's in Japanese language, but you go down here, you get the picture. They are hiring for scout, search, quality, raters, English. That's what we're going to go over. It's part-time. But I just want to throw this out to you. So if you're looking for a job that doesn't require any interview, you will not go through any interviews with these uh, type of jobs um, explore within the in the company and see what is a good fit for you like this ad quality rater English US okay but today we're going to be talking about the scout search quality raters English United States again no interviews required this is part-time when we scroll down here it talks about in this position you will use your unique gifts of understanding people and intention to improve the online search engine experience our main goal for this project is to develop augment AI data. To put it more plainly, you will provide subject and objective ratings based on project rules and conventions. You will complete tasks in American English. In this position, you will be able to set your own schedules to accomplish the weekly goals, and you will receive support from the project management team during business hours, usually Mondays to Friday from 9 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Pacific time, okay? So again, this is part-time. They want you to work a minimum of two hours per week, up to 29 hours per week. You get to set your own schedule, and they are looking for someone to start as soon as possible. You'll be a W-2 part-time employee. Payment is every two weeks. And again, the long, um, how much you work is 12 months. It can extend for a longer time. And the work is based on project needs. Weekly hours may vary. And they do have benefits, as you can see, medical insurance, dental insurance, vision insurance. And currently at this particular time, they are hiring in these states right now. Again, look at the other jobs and see if they're hiring. Uh, when I do my research here about how much you can make, I can say you can go anywhere between 47K all the way up to 75K per year, but 47K is $22 an hour. But again, negotiate your salary and see, um, you know, what you can make. You know, you know your worth, always know your worth, and then just go out here and apply for this job. Again, these type of jobs move very quickly, and if this is something you want to do, make sure you go ahead and apply it now by clicking here where it says apply for this job. This is no interview, Okay. The second job that does require any interview, I'm, this is job number six, okay? But this job do not require any interviews, according to hiring managers and recruiters. Uh, 
they're hiring for different positions like chat room operator. That's what we're going to go over. It says remote any location. That's including California. So go in here and explore within the company and see what they have to offer. OK, so when we click on chat room operator. Now, when you scroll down here, they do list a salary. The salary is between $10 to $13 an hour. I know that a lot of people may say that's not a lot of money, but this is a great part-time job, a side hustle, side gig opportunity. Why? Because they offer flexible schedule. You can set your own hours. You can work when you want to work, and it is part-time, okay? Now, when you we dive in a little bit deeper about uh, what you're going to be doing here, it says we're looking to expand our work-from-home conversion improvement team. Everyday drips hold millions of automatic humanized conversation for their clients, but automation is enough and artificial intelligence, which stands for AI, isn't perfect. We hold the highest standards of excellent and stand humanized. And if our natural language processor is not 98% sure what it uses as, we will rely on you and your teammates to read a consumer response, respond and uh, appropriately. So that's basically what it is. So they're just giving you an example. A user says, can't, can't now working. This will be categorized and handled by clicking the I am work button. You must be able to maintain a 95% accuracy in your response that will be roundly audit and quality assurance. Your work and response will help inform our natural language model. Therefore, your accuracy is, is of the utmost importance. Okay. Now, when you go down here, Again, they do provide training. Training is conducted through Zoom, audio, and video is required. They're looking for multiple shifts to fill the role and are willing to work around schedules. So you must be able to work six straight hours and days, three to five days a week, Monday through Saturday. I'm sorry, Monday through Sunday. So the available shifts that they have available is mornings. You can start from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can work midday, afternoon, start between 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can work evening, start between 4 to 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Really great hours out here, okay? So when you dive in a little bit deeper, it just breaks it down. You're going to respond to inbound messages via their chat rooms to lead regarding questions or concerns around the product or service utilizing point and click frequent ask questions and can respond. If we go down a little bit further, the required skills, Proficient in emojis, good grammatical skills and logic skills, exceptional verbal communication and written skills. And you must have a reliable Internet Wi-Fi in a computer with an update to up to date software and must be currently live in the U.S. or authorized to work in the United States. If this is something that you want to do, make sure you go ahead and apply immediately by clicking right here, right here. This is opportunity number six. And again, this job. No interview is required. Okay. I just want to throw that out there. Okay. Now, like I always say in all of my videos, I know that a lot of people are struggling to pay their bills and they need help. So I'm here to help you as much as I can. And also you may need a free laptop or a low cost laptop or you need free training. I'm going to show you some organizations out here that are willing to help you. Okay. So United Way 211, they provide free and confidential assistance to connect individuals with local resource for help, utilities, housing, food, and other essential needs. You're just going to go to 211.org. Government Assistance Program, again, this is all in the United States. They offer financial aid for those struggling with bills, including assistance for housing, utilities, food, and health care. You can go to benefits.gov. There is so many organizations out here that are willing to help you. You just have to take advantage of it. Some of y'all may say, I'm not struggling with my bills. I just need a free laptop or low-cost laptop because I want to work from home. Here you go. PCS for People provide low-income individuals and families with refurbished computers, internet, and digital literacy support. You're going to go to PCS for People. The only foundation offer free computers and internet access to low-income families with kids in grade K to 12 students in the U.S. You're going to go to the Own It Foundation. There's a lot of foundations out there that will help you get a free laptop or a low-cost laptop. But all you need to do when I scroll down it's just visit the website to understand the eligibility criteria for receiving a free or low-cost laptop. Follow the application process as outlined by each organization. This may include in prov providing proof of income or need. And always, always explore local resource and community organizations as they may have specific programs for 
providing technology to those who are in need. If you would like a copy of this, please reach out to me, but I ask you to be patient with me because I have a lot of emails out here. I'm checking them every single day and sending these little organizations out to you, so be patient with me. You may need some free training to up your skills and make you more valuable. There are some free courses out here that you can take. It's Corsa. They offer free courses from top universities and companies on various topics, including business, computer science, and more. While many courses are free to audit, you may need to pay for a certificate. There are so many, much courses out here. If you're into programming IT, Codes Academy offer free interactive coding classes in various programs, language like Python, Java, JavaScript, and more. The basic courses are free with an option to upgrade for more features. Again, I'm not just talking to talk, I'm walking to walk. I am taking free courses through HubSpot Academy. The, uh, I'm doing the inbound marketing, content marketing, social media marketing, and it has been a blessing to me. And you can go in there and explore. They have virtual assistants, administration. Ha they have a whole bunch of stuff that is going on. You take advantage of it. Canva, y'all. Digital products is the way to be, okay? I will take Canva Design School, offer free tutorials on graphic designs, branding, and use the Canva Designs, too. It is a great tool to use. It's Canva. So they have courses on here. Take advantage of this here, y'all. This is free free to you, okay? It's free 99. I didn't say 399. It is free, 100% free. And again, if you want this list, reach out to me. I don't have any problem sending this to you, okay? Now, when I say stop paying someone to pay to do your resume, stop paying for resume template, I mean, y'all, why would you want to spend money on something that you can do for free? A lot of people um, spend a lot of money on, on getting a resume rewritten or revamped, and they still can't get a job. Okay, Do it yourself. Save your money. And I'm going to show you, and I'm going to walk you step by step. And it's with the company Earn Better. It is 100% free. A lot of people read in the comments. People have asked, have people received jobs by using Earn Better? Yes, people have reached out to me and have received four interviews, two job offers, just by using Earn Better and rewriting their resume and learning how to optimize their resume to the job post. I'm walking you through step by step how to do it. A lot of people would charge for this, but I'm giving it to you for free. So you better take advantage of it. Go get you some coffee, get you some tea, get you some popcorn, get you something to eat. I'm going to walk you through step by step of how to use this. OK, now we're going to dive right into it. Earn Better, the great thing about it, again, it's 100% free. All you have to do is sign up and build your own profile. You are able to search for remote jobs on this platform, but I ask you to always apply on the company website, do your own research for a peace of mind. Once you apply for the jobs, it keeps a track of all the jobs that you're applying for to my left here. And then also interview preps, okay? A lot of people struggle with interview prep. Once they resume pass the applicant track system, they have trouble passing the interview process. Every job that you apply for, AI is generating an interview she sheet, giving you an idea of what these hiring manager, recruiters, CEOs of the companies, what type of courses they're going to ask you. OK, it only takes five minutes to practice for your next interview. Um, when you go here, all I have to do is hit start practicing. There's a pre record on the other end that's going to ask me three interview questions at my own pace. Take them to my profile and job, and they would grade your response and provide feedback instantly. And that is how you keep improvement. OK, so say, for example, if I have an interview coming up with this company here, business development lead, all I have to do is click on interview she sheet. And again, it depends on how fast your speed is, how it's going to brain it up. And it is with the company Nerd Wallet. It's going to bring up some interview courses where I can go in and practice. So when I go to an interview, I know exactly what to say. And again, we just got to be patient, y'all. You got this. Keep pushing. Never, ever give up and don't disqualify yourself before you apply for these jobs. Let the company do it. I don't care if it requires a bachelor's degree. The job description can say one thing and God can say another. But it generates an interview sheet sheet. It just takes some time, y'all. You just got to be patient. Here it is. Okay? So this is the interview sheet sheet for Nerd Wallet. And I was applying for business development lead insurance. 
Okay. These are some of the top interview questions that they may ask you in an interview is why do you want this job? They're giving you the answers. Okay. They're giving you the answers. All you have to do is reword it and make it sound natural where it seems like it's coming from the heart. Can you walk me through your resume? What interests you about this job? Why are you a great fit for this role? What kind of interview? I'm sorry. What kind of environment do you thrive in? And then they also give you tips and tricks. Remember to use the STAR method, situation, tax, action results to structure your response, provide specific examples, and showcase your skills and experience effectively. Turn your phone and other device on silent or do not disturb. Ensure you have a quiet and focused space to complete the interview to avoid distraction. And they say make eye contact and smile. And a lot of times, I always say this, a lot of people don't get a job is because they don't ask questions. When you go into an interview and they ask you, do you have any questions? Even if they may not ask you, you ask them at least three or four or five questions of all of this because it makes it looks like you're interested in applying for a job. What are the skills and experience you're looking for in an ideal candidate? When you have had someone on the team who has done an outstanding job, what have they typically done for you to think that? How long have you been with the company? What are the next steps in the interview process? You can download this and have it right beside you if you need to, okay? So I'm going to get out of here. Documents, okay? This is where you can do your resume, cover letters. When you go to Credit Docs for external jobs, you can do a thank you letter. You should always do a thank you letter after you do an interview. Do a follow-up after you apply for a job. I'm going to walk you step-by-step step of how to do that. Now, when you go into a resume, okay, if you're new here, you have a choice. You can upload your resume and you want to save it as a PDF file because according to hiring managers and recruiters, PDF files are more readable to pass the applicant track system. So if I want to, I can upload my resume and, and do it like this here. OK, or I can start from scratch. It's up to you what you want to do. I'm going to start from scratch. I'm going to walk you through starting from scratch. So I'll hit I do not have a resume. So all you need to do is look at the jobs that I give you each and every day and decide which job that you're interested in. I'm saying, okay, I'm interested in this job. I need me a job. So I can either type it in accounts or I can copy and paste. I prefer to copy and paste and hit save and continue. This is my resume template. Earn Better has made a resume template for free, y'all. For free. I didn't have to pay $25. I didn't have to pay $100. I didn't have to pay $2,000. Save that money for something else. Now, when I say stop paying for resume templates, look, here are some free resume templates. That's all you need is something simple. You have classic, bold, clean, and moderate. I say stick with the class and the clean because I feel in my heart that it's more readable versus the bold, all this bold stuff, this blue stuff and the blue stuff on the side. I feel that it's going to throw the applicant tracker system away, but it's your choice. You choose what you want to do, but I stick with the class and the clean. OK, so I click content. All I need to do now is just add my name and my last name add my email address add my phone number add the city and state that I'm from. And if I have a LinkedIn account, I will put it there. Okay. Summary. I have a choice to do a summary or a objective. I prefer objective. Um, you can say seeking a, and I can put this here and I can say to work from home. Okay. I know it looked plain, but I'm going to use, I'm going to let AI to rewrite it for me. I click on rewrite objective with AI and it's going to come up with something better. This is the original. Here's suggestion one, suggestion two, suggestion three. You see how it took something simple and made it more professional. So I'm going to choose this one, suggestion one, and I'm going to take objective out of here, that word, and it automatically saves it for me. You see how easy it is, okay? Now, at this time, you will add your work experience. Whatever you did on your first job or whatever the case may be, if I did data entry, I'm going to type in data entry. If I work for Sick Track, whatever the company is, I'm going to put that information there. You can put the start date, the end date. It's up to you. Now, you can put your description. Say, for example, I'm pretending like this is my resume. This is actually what I did for that data entry position here. Okay, again, I'm pretending like this is my resume. I'm gonna copy and paste that and put it like that, okay? Now, if I have another job, all you need to do is go right here where it says add work experience. I'm gonna add another job. Say, for example, 
I was working as a customer service rep. Okay. And I worked for Disneyland or Disney World. And I could put Atlanta, Florida, and I could put down January 2021st. I could put down currently working there. And I'm going to go back into my resume. I'm sending like this is what I did on my job. Okay. If I had my resume, this is what I did. I'm going to go back here and I'm going to paste that in here. You see how easy it is? I have two jobs now. Okay. Now I need to add my education. I click on add education. Now, like I'm always say in hiring managers and recruiters, bring it up to my attention. You do not need to add high school diploma only if you didn't go to college. If you went to a university, community college, trade school, you know that in order to get in, you have to have a high school diploma. So I'm going to put down that I have a bachelor's degree in applied science and I'm going to put down computer, hold on, just computer science. And I'm going to change that to now you can get a bachelor's degree in a community college as well. And I'm going to put graduation date, August 2024. OK, now, if I have certifications, all I need to do is add my certifications. I'm going to put AWS cloud. I got it from Amazon 2024. Now, the skills is very important. This is how you optimize your resume to the job posts because basically what AI picked up is that these are the skills that are in that job rec. And it's saying I need to add all of these, these um, keywords often here in order to increase my chances of making it through the applicant track system. Like I always say, hiring manager can go on the back end and type in accounts receivable management. And if you have it in your resume, your resume is going to be in the pile of callback, you know, or invite. So I just want to bring that to your attention. Now you can share your resume. You can download it or you can hit finish. I'm going to hit finish. Okay. Once I hit finish, it's recommend me some other jobs that I can apply for. Okay. I can apply for both of these jobs if I want to at this particular time. I don't want to. I want to go back into my resume so you can see. Y'all, it took me under seven minutes to complete this resume. You know what I'm saying? It took under seven minutes. Okay. And I have a resume. It put the bullet points for me. It put my education. It put the skills, the keywords off in there. It did everything for me. Okay. So if I look at this resume and say, there's an area I need to go in, all you need to do is go into content, whatever thing you want to change. If you want to tweak something around in your objective, you can by using this error here. If you want to delete something, here's a trash can. You can delete it. If you want to go to customer service at Disney World and you want to change things around, you're able to do it. That's how you do it. I'm going to get out of here. Okay. The next step is doing a follow-up. Okay. When you apply for these jobs and you're like, I, ha I haven't heard anything from, you need to do a follow-up a week after you apply for these jobs because that shows that the hiring manager recruiter hey, this girl, this boy is still interested in this job. So you need to do a follow-up. So I'm going to click out of here. You just go to all the jobs. Remember, it keeps a track of all the jobs that you apply for. And if I want to follow up here, I'm going to delete this here. Okay. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to delete this thank you here. That's Thank you emails is only for you do if you had an interview. But I'm going to do a follow-up email. I'm going to show you how easy it is. It put down... The title, I don't have to write anything. It put the company's name. All I need to do is come up with a fake, uh, what, what is fake for the video, but you want to put the real email address to the person you want to send it to. And I hit save and continue. And then it says, tell us about this role. You can choose the position aligned with my career goals. My skills and knowledge are very relevant. I'm excited about your team. It's a new challenge. I'm inspired by the company mission. You choose. I'm going to stick with this and hit save and continue. It's analyzing the job requirement. It's customizing the email. It's finalizing the perfect email, y'all. You can get your timer out there and see how long it takes that it would um, rewrite everything for me. I don't have to write. I don't have to use my brain to stretch out, stress out. Here it goes. It made a follow up. And I'm going to read it to you. Follow up with my charge review specialist to remote application. Dear hiring manager, I hope this message found you, you well. I wanted to follow up on my application for the charge review specialist two position at Conifer Healthcare. I'm very excited about this opportunity as it aligns perfectly with my career goals and aspirations. I believe my skills and experience would be a great fit for your team. 
I look forward to the possibility of discussing my application further and hope to hear back soon. Thank you for considering my application. Look how it took under seven minutes, under seven minutes, and you have a follow-up letter. You can open your email and send it. You can copy the text or you can hit finish, y'all. That's how easy it is. I'm going to take you to thank you email, okay? I'm feeling generous. So I'm going to go over to the thank you email. You want to do a thank you email after you've done a, um, after you've done a interview, okay? You want to put what's the full name of the interviewer. If it's John Doe, put the, the address, get that information, hit save and continue. Tell them about the interview, why you're so excited. You can read here. I'm going to just choose one and hit save and continue, okay? It's analyzing the job requirement. It's positioning your interview. It's doing all of that, finalizing the perfect email for you. And it literally takes you under seven minutes. Here is a thank you email about thanking them for the time that they spent interviewing. You can read it on your own time. It is that very simple, y'all. And you can hit finish and you can be on your way, okay? You can add a cover letter. Here's a cover letter. You can choose which, which uh, resume you want to use, add a cover letter, finish my cover letter, and you'll have a cover letter. You know what I'm saying? AI will generate a cover letter. That is how easy it is to get it going. Now, it's taking, some, it's taking longer than what I'm expecting, but I just walk you through step by step it will show you. Now, at this point, you can download the cover letter. Let me see if I can go back here. Okay. I want to go back to documents. You can go to cover letter. Again, we're going to choose this title here. I want to show you this. Okay. This is how, how good um, earn better. Y'all need to know how it works so you can take advantage of this and do this free stuff. Okay. Um, I'm going to hit save and continue. And then if I don't have a job description, I'm going to say no. So you can see how it works. I'm going to hit save and continue. It's asking me which uh, resume that I want to use. I chose one. Again, it's identifying the key requirements, matching your experience with the job requirement, analyzing the key skills, writing your professional cover letter, because and it's finalizing your cover letter. Here is my cover letter, because some application require that you have to have a cover letter. And here it is, under seven minutes, y'all. Under seven minutes. And you can do it yourself, y'all, and save the money, Okay. So that's how easy it is. You can share the cover letter, download it, hit finish. I, and then again, it's saying that I need to, it's giving me some job options. Take advantage of it. It is free. Okay. I want to show you another thing here. Okay. And every job rec that I give you, there are keywords in the job post. And a lot of people are not aware. You hear people optimize your resume. There are keywords, but they're not telling you where the keywords are. We're going to use something that is free, y'all. We're going to use something that's free, and that's chat GPT. It is free. They have the free version, and they have the paid version, but we're going to use the free version, okay? I'm going to type, um, give me the keywords from this job post that will help my resume pass the a T S. Okay. So you can reword it. You can write it the way you want it to. So basically what I'm going to do is I want to highlight everything from here, the job description all the way down here. Okay. I want to copy and paste this, go back into earn better. I'm not, not earn better chat GPT. Hold on just for a second, chat GPT. And I want to hit this enter button. Okay. So basically again, I asked, asked ChatGPT to give me the keywords from this job post that will help my resume pass the applicant tracker system, okay? And these are all the keywords that ChatGPT have given me from this job post here, okay? So I was wondering, how do I know the keywords? Use ChatGPT. It came up with all these keywords, account receivable specialist, claim payment issues, timely reimbursement, denials and appeals, payments, no response. It's a whole bunch of keywords here, but I say use the keywords that you are familiar with. And that's all you need to do, y'all. Take advantage of this. A lot of people are not going to tell you this. They charge you for this, okay? But I'm telling you for free. I've done it myself, and I was able to get jobs. I already have a job, but it works. What I'm telling you 
it, it works. You just got to follow my direction, follow God for most, but follow this direction that I'm giving to you and you will get your job. These are keywords. If they go in the back end and say revenue cycle and you have that in your resume, your resume is going to pass the applicant tracking system. You need to understand this. It is if chat GPT is free, take advantage of this, y'all. Use this tool to find the keywords from the job post, and you can take this keyword and you can implement it into your um, resume and make it sound natural where it don't look like you're just adding and throwing keywords. I've done a lot of videos on that. Take advantage of it. It is free to you, okay? Also, I just want to throw out here, too, a lot of people are um, saying that I um, were the links to the jobs. I always put the links to the jobs. You're going to go under my video and you're going to hit more. When you go under more, I'm also giving you timestamps, okay? As well as I'm giving you links to the jobs. A lot of people don't do that. They just talk about the jobs in the video and you got to try to figure it out. I'm giving you the gems, right? I'm giving you the timestamps as well as I'm giving you um, the jobs where when you click on it, it's going to take you straight to the job post, okay? Where What I've discussed in the video, I just want to throw that out there to you. And then my email address, if you want to reach out to me, this is my email address. A lot of people are asking, where are your email address? That's my email address. You're able to join my Facebook group if you desire in your heart. You're able to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, LinkedIn. There's ways, and make sure you subscribe to the channel, but there's ways that you can get in contact with me, okay? So take advantage of this here, okay? Now, I want to say this. If this video has been helpful thus far, what I want you to do is hit that like button as well as leave a comment. I am the type of YouTuber type of person. I will respond back. I respond to all comments. Subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to build a community where we can uplift and encourage one another on our job search and everyday life. And if you want to be part of it, right, you have to subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to share these videos on your social media platform so more and more people can see what I have to offer each and every single day. Y'all, videos go out every single day. That's seven days a week because I'm here to help you. I'm here to serve you and help you get that job, help you pass the applicant tracking system so you can be a blessing to other people. That's what we need is to speak life over each other because the power of the tongue determines life and death. Too many times there's so much negative out here. Everywhere you go, it doesn't matter if you're driving, if you're in the stores, if you're at home, there's so many people that are speaking death, but you got to speak life over yourself because you got to believe that, hey, I can do all things to Christ Jesus that strengthened me. God is walking with me every single day. He's to my right. He's to my left. He's in front. He's in behind. He do not give me the spirit of fear. You know, only, you, you know, don't be scared to get out here and apply for these jobs. I don't care what people say. Well, they require a bachelor's degree. When you're walking into the favor of God, God can allow things to overlook a lot of things to get you into the door and you move up. I told y'all about the job that I've been on for 14 years. I don't have a bachelor's degree. I only have a social degree, a high school diploma, certifications. I do have a PhD because I praise them daily. And that's the best degree that you can have. But I don't have a bachelor's degree. And the job required a bachelor's degree, required five years experience. I didn't have any experience. But I went in there and shined. I was the light in the darkness where I shined. And they were glad that they hired me. And they still say to this, to this day, we're glad that we gave you a chance because you know your stuff. I educate myself by looking at videos, uh, teaching myself through the grace of God how to move up to the next level. Sometimes you have to teach yourself through the grace of God because everybody don't want you to know stuff, okay? When you sit up here and you ask people, can you show me how to do it? You're going to have to figure it out yourself. That's what some people do. They don't want to show you anything. I'm here showing you things, okay? I'm showing you how to find the keywords from the job post, how to optimize your resume so it can pass the applicant tracker system. And I'm showing it to you for free, y'all. A lot of people would charge hundreds, $200 for what I'm showing you, and I'm showing it to you for free, y'all. So you got to keep pushing, and pushing means praying to something happen. Don't disqualify yourself before you apply for these jobs. Let the company do it, because you got to believe in yourself. If you don't believe in yourself, nobody else will, okay? One thing, if I'm going through something, I'm not going to let nobody see me cry, because people like to see you down. You got to pick yourself up and say, look, I fell down, 
but I'm not going to stay down. I'm going to be walking in the favor of God. I know that this job that I apply for, it may not work, but I'm going to keep applying. Some job, some company is going to know who I am. Some company going to know that I'm the best candidate for this position because I'm going to say, hey, you need to hire me if I have to do a newsletter, do a recorder of saying, hey, this is the reason why you need to hire me. That's what I'm going to do to stand out from the crowd. That's what you got to realize. You have to do things that's different from your competitors. Your competitors. You don't want to do the same old, same old, like what monkey sees, what monkey do. You got to make yourself different to stand out from the crowd. Even though it's a lot of people applying for jobs, that's something that you got to do. And you can do it, y'all. I'm cheering you on. I'm saying you can do it. You can do it. But you got to tell your mind to do it. Everything start in your mind, okay? I keep saying, know your purpose and your whys in life because trust me, it's going to get hard. You're going to feel like quitting. You're going to feel like throwing in the towel, but God is going to throw that towel back at you. When you know your purpose, when the when the when when it gets hard, you're in, you know your purpose and your whys, that's what's going to keep you ground, grounded and stay in the race, y'all. We're all running in a race. We're all competing. God is saying, on your mark, get set, go. And too many times we're looking to our left. We're looking to our right instead of focusing on us. Imagine if you're driving and you're looking to your left and your right all the time, you're going to end up in a car accident. Focus on you. God has a blessing out there with your name on it. But you got to have your hand up and say, God, I want my blessing. Give me my blessing. Stay focused. Don't disqualify yourself. Stop listening to naysayers. Listen to what God has to say. Let God be your GPS where he guides, provide, and get strength. Let him be your GPS. Stop listening to naysayers because if you keep listening to naysayers, you end up nowhere. Think about going to a place you've never been to. You can't use your mouth or nor a GPS. You end up nowhere. Stay focused. Run your race with class because at the end, you're going to win. It don't matter how long it takes you, but at the end, you're going to win because you didn't quit. When you quit, what do you what, what do you accomplish? Nothing. You got to start all over again. Stay in your race and run your race with class. God is there for you, cheering you on. I am cheering you on. You got this. Many blessings to each and every one of y'all. And I pray that whatever desire you have in your heart, it shall be given in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.